Do you think Martin Luther King's dream and message has come to fruition today? I think parts of it. I'm going to be very honest. I don't think to the full extent. All the things that Martin Luther King fought for and marched for, I feel like us as black Americans don't necessarily benefit from it the most. Um, and not saying that we should, but, you know, we could we could get more from that. Who do you think is benefiting from it then? Um, honestly, every, everyone else. That there's a unified fight that we still have to endure. What is that fight? The fight is for liberation. The fight is for not equality, but equity. How do we get our stake? How do we get beyond just matters? Black and brown people are still at the bottom economically. They need to work on better jobs. They need to work on minimum wage. Do you think Martin Luther King's uh, message has come to fruition today? I would say no. We still don't have our own as a, as a black community. How do we get beyond just tolerance for our existence and, and get into like systemic things that ground us into being actual people, perceived as actual people and not just objects of a struggle. What is something do you think society can work on so it can come together? And just being real about the the world that we live in, like it's harder for black and brown people, period. And when when everyone acknowledges it, I think it'll be a better place. Stay woke. What do you mean by woke? A lot of schools are actually trying to take out like, you know, um, the history of slavery and I've seen that they're trying to put you know, laborers instead of and calling them what they were, slaves. So just stay woke to a few of those minor changes that can affect the greater, that can affect the next generation. These children nowadays, some of them are disrespectful. You can whoop your children's butt, you can just not put a bruise on them. Your final message? Keep the peace. Keep the peace and communicate. Stop the violence.